Yo, welcome back, Baller Central podcast slash gaming channel, I think. Um, we got the Dwight Howard series going on, and we're facing against the Bulls. Since the Celtics team isn't that competitive, it's just Paul Pierce, so uh, we don't really want to play against him. But in this one, Jamal, Tracy, Tyson Chandler, Eddie Curry, Nick Collison, wow, Jason Collins, Lachelle Sprewell. So, hey, let's get right into it. Ooh. Welcome fans, thanks for joining us for this Friday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Orlando Magic as they go up against the Chicago Bull. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. And this is the time of year teams, Greg, start to wear down a little bit, and we're seeing the first signs of fatigue setting in. Well, it is a long season, Kevin, and it can be hard to keep your focus and drive, but we'll see which one of these teams is still in early season form here tonight. Crawford looking over the floor. Over Bremer. Crawford, no luck. Here's Orlando now, and going against Chicago, their first meeting of the season. And they dropped the season series to these guys a year ago. Not their proudest moment. A team that on paper they expect to beat. Great teams take care of business against the bottom feeder. We'll see if they can handle that end of the bargain here tonight. Now here's Crawford.
Boy, was he something else against the Clippers. Just four to shoot. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. And the Bulls get it back. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. He has way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. And both free throws good for Thomas. And so Marshall will bring it up for Orlando. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. Yeah, and, and that one, they caused a lot of misfires with their intensity on the defensive end. And the hustle they showed on that end was, was infectious, contagious. I mean, their squad really got after it. Rummer passes to Howard over Thomas. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Dwight Howard getting a little tricky there, pulling the man with the pump fake and able to draw the foul. At the line for two. That free throw, no good. So he comes. up empty missing both so for the Bulls their last game a win against the Clippers yeah I mean we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game showed a lot of versatility and you know everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for them felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip and Andre Iguodala with the slam and how about the level of concentration from Iguodala able to take some punishment on the finish there Crawford kicks to McGrady. Bobbed up there for Chandler. Throws down the alley-oop slam. You know, the athletic game of Chandler helps tremendously. He's awesome at flying up to complete alley-oops. To the inside. Marshall with it. Thomas is on him. Oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. Pass to McGrady. Back to Crawford. Set up, set up. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. To the middle, intercepted. Last break, here comes Chicago. Pull up Jay, and he hits the jump shot. And his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Here's Bremer. Posey up top. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in, it's good. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. to Crawford. Thomas surveying the D. Inside. Out to Chandler. In the corner, it's Crawford. Second chance effort, and Chandler lays it in. Chandler's got his second basket of the night. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark 
to get the offense going. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. Here's Curry. Another guy who really kicked it up a notch for them in that Clippers game. McGrady. And that one's good. McGrady getting all graceful with that shot. How about the floater? The perfect amount of touch and finesse. Here's Parks. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for Chicago. You have to give them credit for their defense here in the early stages. I mean, they've shown tremendous anticipation on the same page as a unit defensively, especially on those block shots. And, guys, they've also done a great job generating offense from their defense, forcing turnovers and making the defense pay for those mistakes. Now, here is McGrady. He picked up 27 points in the last win against the Clippers. And then there was his passing. When he wasn't scoring on his own, he was making plays for his teammates, and they just couldn't figure out how to defend it. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Kicks it to Haywood. Griffin with the steal. 124 left in the first quarter of the game. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the impact stuff. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. And he pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. And the crowd got their jaws dropped on that one. Total disbelief. And he makes that one. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drop. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this. Now here's Griffin. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Straight rim rocker. It looked like a great for a second, like he might rip the cylinder loose. Now that is some real industrial size strength right there. It's stolen by McGrady. And here comes McGrady in the fast break. Here's Collison. Well, time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Yeah, and you got to respect the size McGrady has. Easily seen over the defense there to spot the open man. Here's Barron, guarded by Crawford. Turkaloo against Griffin. And the basket by Turkaloo. Yeah, and this team looks for Turkaloo to score, especially when he gets a good look inside. McGrady outside. Dishes it to Collison. Just three on the clock. Misses from close range. And so, lots of scoring in that competitive first quarter. Bulls lead by... And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. Looking at what we've seen for the Bulls, what do you guys think? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Well, you know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. And, guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And I like what he did at the line a season ago. How about 81%? Yeah, you know, that was one spot where they didn't have to worry about him at all. I mean, at the free throw line, he was automatic. And so here is Chicago. And that game will be game two of five out on the road. 
Iguodala against McGrady. Down low. Sprewell, that's good. Sprewell's got the lead up to seven now for the Bulls. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Safety move, and it's Howard laying it in. Imposing his will down there. Howard feels like he can score anytime he wants from this area. Top of the key. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. The Bulls leading by three. Crawford kicks to McGrady. on the shot and picks up two points so one free throw coming up what muscle from McGrady right there brushing off the defense with ease and the magic making a change here Marshall's checked in and uh, the magic shooting has been sensational 75% for the game Bremer and it's Chicago with the rebound that's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop they were all over and the dunk by Chandler. Oh, phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Well, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Now, here's Iguodala. The feed to Marshall. Collins with some nice D. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Fourth team foul. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Here's Crawford. Over Bremer. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. The Magic trail by eight. That's the bottom. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. Chicago making a switch here. Thomas has checked in. Kenny Thomas. So Crawford will bring it up for Chicago. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Yep, that one goes. Crawford's got his third basket of the night. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. And they get it back. Chandler dishes to McGrady. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. This one for three. Sprewell, that's good. Sprewell's got five. And how about Sprewell? They're dropping ones from deep. Really like how he's starting to get a feel for that three-point. And they get it. Here's Bonner. And he uses the glass on the way. You make your teammates better by giving them good passes. That one was perfect. Crawford outside. The three. They get it back. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. And the officials calling for a three-second violation. Ah! 